Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm delighted you're here. Let me just set this aside. I want to uh, make sure I cover it with some paper towel because today we're going to do some sanding and I don't want sawdust in my tea. It doesn't add to the flavor of English breakfast tea at all. I want to give a big shout out to Leo and thank him very much for coming and helping me out the other day. That was a lot of fun having you here, Leo. I hope you'll do it again. And I'm sure the people watching this channel enjoyed having you here as much as I did. So thank you again for that. That was really special. Today, it's about avoiding trouble. And to do that, it involves dealing with humidity. Humidity is one of the big enemies of guitars because too little humidity can cause the guitar to shrink, can cause the bridge to lift, the top to sink, to lift, brake bracing and all of that kind of thing. Crack the guitar, crack the top. So it must be well maintained. And look at the video that I've done before on humidity. It's really important. But in order to help with that today, what we are going to do is brace for trouble. And that's what this is about. In a moment, we're gonna run this through the sander and then we're gonna get it all shaped and we're gonna put these pieces of wood, we're gonna cut them up, we're gonna shape them and we're gonna glue them to the sides of the guitar so that it protects the guitar from splitting and other things that may be caused by humidity. But before we get into that, what do you say that we start by running that intro and then as soon as we come back, we'll get on with the sanding. Hi, we're back. I'm Monty McKinnon, and we're about to get on to the process of building some bracing for the sides of the guitar. Now, I had to begin this day because I have a lot of things I wanted to do. And one of the things I wanted to do was to get the holes drilled in the top of the guitar body because what happens there is you close the body in and you realize, oh my goodness, I didn't drill those holes. And you've got to come from the inside out. So you'll see me do that in the cutaway here that we do right now. In addition to this, what we did is we had to take the back, just like we did with the front, and what we call driving the bus, is where we put the radius disc, it's sloped properly, with the wooden handles that I have on the side, and we go back and forth, as you'll see me doing here right now. And I do this for about a half an hour, almost, uh, pushing down to make sure that I get both the blocks on either end, the neck block and the tail block level with the sides, and that it's all perfect all the way around because a lot of guitars do not have side bracing on them. And that's why you find the sides frequently splitting. And so we're gonna prevent that and get on with this right now. So what do you say we head over to the sander, it's all set up and we will do that.
Well, that's just about it for today. We got a lot accomplished, believe it or not. First of all, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to Leo again for coming and helping me. You were great. I appreciated you being here more than you know. Andy, thank you so much for playing that Australian Blackwood. You're good. Your, your guitar playing is amazing, and I get lots of comments about that. So you've got to come back, and you've got to do it soon. Today, what we did is we got the holes drilled into the front perfectly. We managed to uh, drive the bus, as we say, with that great big disc, as you saw. And we got this all level. This is sloped this way. I will do just a tad more before we put the top on, just to make sure we've got this thing perfectly flat and straight. We've managed to get the braces done today and we've got them sloped and they just fit in here like this. They go into here, they go into here and they go up here and they'll get glued. And that will keep this thing from twisting and it also helps with the humidity factor because humidity is our major enemy. And so we've got to brace for trouble because we don't want any trouble with humidity. So the best way to do that is brace it properly. We'll have braces going up on the top as well. I'll get those glued in for the next video. Now, what I also did, if you can see that, is I have marked each end of the patch that we put in. I've now marked the center of the guitar. I used a flexible ruler here and I bent it down here and drew my line. So my jig will fit over this and then we'll punch this in. I've never done this before without the top and the back on. So I'm actually thinking maybe I should give it a try because it would be much easier to sand the patch on the inside once I've drilled through that with the rotor and make it all perfect. So. I think I might do that. We'll, we'll, I'll think about that and maybe on our next video we'll look at that. We're about one video away, maybe two, from uh, getting into the top and doing the um, rosette and putting in the shell and all of that kind of good stuff. So we will be back shortly with that. Don't forget, use the comments down below if you have any comment or question that you'd like to ask. Fire it away. Send your questions to Tea with Monty and we'll get on to that. Thank you again. Talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.